about the neighborhood I love this area I have always loved this area it's so quiet peaceful my fiance Simon Iure Guabadia is everything I'm an entrepreneur I own several businesses from you know, restaurants nightclubs Simon and I met actually because he had DM me that's what I think now y'all tell me if he's telling y'all something different okay <laughs> My relationship with Porsche started after my ex-wife and I announced that we were getting divorced. Porsche reached out in my DM and expressed that she was sorry to hear that. Her DMing me, checking up on me, making sure I was okay. I appreciated it, and the rest of it is history. They go right back by my oh, house. I came right back by your house. Oh, what the hell? Have you thought about the fact that you have so many cars just for you? Me? What's yes. That? How many cars do you own? I got two Rolls Royces here. One sixty-three. Five, five cars. Five, here, five right? cars. You don't even know. Okay, how yeah. whatever. So you have about five cars yourself. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. What about when the kids get older? Where are they gonna have their cars? No, they're moving out. If you can own a car, you should have your own apartment. What? Kalar's not going anywhere. <laughs> getting married, you're consolidating households. Hey, I'm glad you know you're not bringing the king into the queen's palace. Oh, oh that just gave you one more point, huh? You know, you'd be racking them up. You act so chill and cool, but you'd be racking them up. Mm. OK. Let's go look at this beautiful home. Hello. Hi, how are how you? Are you? Hi. Hi, how are you? Good. You guys, come on in. OK. So here we have a two-story great room. I love that. Yeah. I'm all about a two-story great room. Of course, you see it has a modern feel, floor-to-ceiling windows, seven bedrooms, and beautiful views of the pool. Have you identified which room for which kid? We have well. six. Wow, so a seven bedroom is a good bedroom count It is. It is a good bedroom <laughs> count. Well, why don't I give you all a little time to kind of talk things through? OK. And I'll be here if you have any questions. OK, Absolutely. perfect. Oh, OK, them little steps, there's some work. <laughs> Quads are working. That's some work. So what are you thinking? You don't seem like you don't look around this house anymore. <laughs> no, I'm well, it's a beautiful home. Yeah. I think one of the things you noticed is that it might be just good enough for one or two people. Yeah, I mean, I'm just thinking about I like the openness of this one, but with all these kids and us and we want some walls. Yeah, I have five kids. I obviously have been married, you know, a few times. This is gonna be my fourth marriage. And kids are typically involved with each divorce. Co-parenting is not an easy thing to do. The house in Costa Rica has me spoiled. Like, I want that vibe. It has to have that oomph. Like, when you walk in the door, it's like, bam! That's right. I'm the Guavaria house. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, baby. And the kitchen has to so be. So sexy. Oh, you, like that? you like that little room? One more time, one more time. Out of your house. Ooh, love it. <laughs> and then I also feel like you're not thinking about the other kids. Who? Cool. The ones that's still in your balls. <laughs> <laughs> when I told my sister I was moving to Atlanta, she was like, what? Nobody has been able to get me to move from Duluth. My home for me has been a manifestation of my independence. Me working hard, being able to afford a home like this in a gated community, raising my daughter on my own, it has been very fulfilling to me. It does feel like I'm leaving a piece of Portia. I looked on Twitter and I saw Cordell filing for divorce from Portia. You really found out about it on Twitter? Completely blindsided. You didn't do anything wrong. He just was the wrong damn one. You're right. Hey. Welcome to my humble abode. This move for me is a believe in Portia move. At the end of the day, if I end out on my ass, it'll be because of me. One, because Cordell or some man right. kicked me out on my ass. I'm turning 40, all right? I want to move with Simon because I am ready to settle down. All right, down, not turn it up. All I was thinking was I just need to find the man and just boop, pluck him into the house. A man like me, you can't just pick him and pluck him in there. My house, I just don't think you're comfortable being over there like that. Mm -hmm. Why not? 
just the same region and I'm comfortable with being in my house. Really? But here's the thing about my house. Nobody's, oh, I'm about to say nobody lived there. Yeah, here. somebody has lived there before. Yeah. Yeah. You like this? Yeah. That one got the tail on it, too. <laughs> Why are you always looking for the tail? So somebody that has, you know, marked the territory there at one point, so. Yeah. Tainted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My bubble right there. <laughs> <laughs> Get that. Daddy. Oh. Hey, my Daddy. baby. Ice cream. <laughs> she gonna tell myself she wants ice cream. <laughs> That's all she get in my house. Oh, God. Listen. Listen. How you doing? I'm good, just fine. My relationship with Dennis is still loving. Nothing like that has changed. The only thing that's changed is his relationship with my daughter. We will always be friends. We will always consider ourselves family. Where Portia at? Um, what island she on right now? What? <laughs> They are looking at houses today. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. You know, Portia moves fast. We broke up July 2020. But, you know, on Christmas, she brought her damn matching pajamas. Y'all seen that <laughs> Portia asked me for her ring back around Christmas. But we had too much stuff that wasn't worked out. She didn't like that answer. Next thing I know, she was engaged again. <laughs>